My name is Emily Jackson from The Great Family Adventure, and today I'm gonna to share with you 10 things that we take with us when we're going on a camping trip. The first things first, a tent. It's one of the main necessities and it's gonna keep you uh, sheltered. So definitely the first thing that you always need to bring with you on your camping adventure. Number two is your bedding. Depending on what type of camping you're doing, whether you're packing light and packing in and out, I tend to go a little bit more elaborate on the bedding because Adventures in the outdoors are hard if you're not getting a good night's rest. So definitely bring stuff that's gonna make you and your family comfortable while sleeping. Flashlights, flashlights are really important. We bring a lantern and headlamps usually, unless we're packing light, then we skip the lantern. But the kids really enjoy having their own headlamps. So definitely be sure to make sure that everyone in your family has at least one headlamp so you're not all fighting for it in the end. Food. Food is obviously something you want to take with you on every adventure in every form because energy is going to be high, which means you're going to need to replenish it with good, healthy food. But when you're on a camping trip, you also want the kids to be really excited. So definitely consider bringing special treats. For us, it's always s'mores. Classic camping, but never a time where the kids are upset because they had s'mores. So you may get sticky. So if you are gonna bring s'mores on your camping trip, baby wipes never hurt anyone. Which brings me to number five, toilet paper and a bathroom plan. Depending on where you're camping, if you don't have a bathroom, you know, it's pack in, pack out. So be sure to think about how your family is gonna approach using the bathroom. Doggy bags really aren't a bad option. There are different types of groovers, styles of bathroom setups that you can Google and check out online. Uh, for our family, we use campsites that have bathrooms and amenities like that, or when we're in the great outdoors, then we gotta set up a Groover platform. So some people use doggy bags, other people have full bucket systems, so be sure to check those out. Toilet paper is always really important on that one too, so definitely bring yourself some toilet paper. My recent camping trip, we forgot some, and that wasn't very fun, so definitely consider toilet paper, because it's one of those things you don't think about until you've forgotten it. A lighter. A lighter is one of those things you're going to use multiple times throughout the trip. We use ours for starting our campfire or our camp stove, uh, so definitely be sure to bring yourself maybe one, maybe two lighters, and definitely keep them in a dry bag if you think you're going to be near any water or rain, because nothing sucks more than getting to campsite and realizing that your lighter is flooded. So bring a lighter and keep it dry. This brings me back to baby wipes. I mentioned it earlier for the s'mores, but you'd be surprised how often you're using baby wipes throughout an entire camping trip. Since bathing isn't really a thing, baby wipes really help you feel like the kids are a little fresher when they go to sleep or maybe a little fresher when they wake up in the morning. So consider bringing some baby wipes as your cleaning mechanism for you and the kids throughout your camping adventure. After being on several trips without them, I realized the importance of having them and that's chairs. You think you never need them? I'll just sit on the ground. But when you're adventuring all day, there is something really nice about plopping into a camp chair and just being able to relax. So definitely consider bringing some form of camp chair. You can bring big ones or little ones, depending on whether you're driving in or hiking in, but at least one or two lightweight camping chairs wherever you're going can make a big difference on your camping adventure. Be prepared when you're packing chairs to have to share them. So I only brought two on the last trip when there was three of us and I never got to sit in a chair because the kids wanted it the whole time. So if you have the availability to bring a chair for each person, definitely consider doing that because otherwise the parents don't get to sit in the chair that much. That brings me to melatonin. This is something that can be controversial whether or not to bring on camping trips, but there are some versions of children's melatonin out there uh, for a good night's sleep. I've noticed it makes a really big difference for my children when we are on different time changes. You know, camping, for example, we can either stay up really late or it can be light out when I want them to go to sleep because they're exhausted. And that can be quite challenging, getting the kids to sleep when you're out on an adventure. So I consider giving my kids each at least one gummy melatonin before they go to bed. Uh, the children's versions are out there. Definitely do some research, check it out but it's really helped me on my adventures ensure that the kids get a good night's rest so they can be ready for the next day. Which brings me to mom and dad's sleep, which is adult melatonin or Advil PM or some type of sleep aid. Uh, for me, I have really bad shoulders when we're camping and the kids are sleeping on them. I wake up with a lot of pain. And so usually when I'm camping and only when I'm camping, it's a special treat, but I consider taking either a melatonin or an Advil PM to help alleviate any inflammation, make sure I get a good night's rest, and just make it so that way I have the energy I need to keep adventuring the next day. Drinks. Drinks can be 
fun, depending on what kind of drinks you want to bring, but I'm talking more warm drinks. So even when it's hot out, I really appreciate a good cup of coffee or hot chocolate for the kids when we're out on these camping adventures. So if you're out there camping and you're unsure what to pair with your food, just know that a warm drink after an adventure can be really nice and relaxing. It's also a great way to wake up in the morning, uh, just with a warm cup of coffee or a warm cup of tea. It just helps really uh, you know, get your innards warm. Sometimes camping can be cold and having that warm drink can really help bring you from sleeping mode into adventure mode. Those are my top 10 things for camping. It's different for every person. Every family is a little different. So definitely think about what you think will make you and your family more comfortable and have more fun when out on your adventures.